Hi everyone and welcome back to PolySeal. In this video we are showing you how to measure your silicon moulds for your AC100. In this video we're using the mould on the right which is a trinket tray mould but this method will cross over for your silicon coaster moulds and your tray moulds and most flat moulds. We are going to be using a digital scales and water. The first thing we're doing is placing a plastic box on top of the scale. We will be filling our mould with water. We want to make sure that none of that water gets onto the scales. As soon as you've set your scale to zero, you need to fill your mould to the top with water. Now I like to fill my moulds right up to the top to make them chunky. You do not have to do that. If you generally don't fill your moulds to the top with product, then you won't need to fill your mould to the top with water. So just keep on pouring the water until you are happy. I already know that this mould takes 200 grams in weight of water, but you will soon see here that I over poured to 201 grams. It didn't pour out of the mould, but we're going to ignore that one gram. We're going to pretend this is 200 and we're going to divide this number by two. This is going to give us our jesmonite liquid content. When we have our jesmonite liquid content, which we now know is 100 grams, we are going to multiply that by 2.5 to get our powder. That is going to give us 250 grams, which we can now pour in on top of the liquid, stirring as we go. But in this video, you will see that I did just pour all of the powder in and I'm going to make sure I give it a thorough stir for a minute before I start to pour it. Now, when you're measuring your AC100, it really is important to stick to the 1 to 2.5 ratio. If you add more powder, there is a chance you will make the product weaker. Similarly, if you add more liquid and it's more runny, it will take so much longer to set and the overall product will be weaker in strength. So here you see me just adding those 250 grams worth of powder. Again, I went over by a couple, so just go in and take a little pinch out, get it back down to that 250 grams. Once you've measured, you've got part A and part B, the liquid and the powder together in the same pot. Give them a really good mix. Now I use a silicon whisk, but you can use a jesmonite mixing blade, which is available from PolySeal. You can finish this however you like, but in this video, we're going for a little bit of marbling. I'm just adding one, two or three dots of black jesmonite. A little goes a long way way. With the jesmonite pigment it is very very strong and very deep in colour so I'm only adding one or two drops of the black. Give it a little stir, not too much or you will end up with grey jesmonite and then I'm pouring it into my mould. Making sure I scrape that pot out and you can see here the mould is absolutely full to the top. To get rid of those surface bubbles you can run a spatula or a stick across the top. You can blow them out with a straw and then you want to make sure that you give the whole silicon mould a very good tap. You could also run a silicon tool in and around those edges to dislodge any air bubbles trapped. And here you see it is full up, the method worked. This will work across all of your flat moulds. It is absolutely foolproof. We hope you found it helpful and we will see you all in the next video. Bye!